Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel and whatever platforms you're listening to this on. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much if you are subscribed. If, but if you're not, please do go ahead and subscribe. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place and let's get into this conversation. All right, guys, I previously did a few conversation slash reality chat sessions where I discussed the SWV and Escape show and not so much the show but just some of the things that were exposed on the show and more specifically the sisters from Escape, Tasha and Tamika. The first episode of that show it was revealed via Tamika that her older sister Tasha and her husband stole her money she said thirty thousand dollars and that went viral and there was back and forth about that and then the receipts came out via tiny's mom to prove that tamika was telling the truth about that situation because tasha and her husband have both denied those allegations well listen i wanted to talk about something because Tamika Scott, she recently did a video on her YouTube channel, which went viral. I actually saw the video. Maybe it was about 20 minutes or so after she posted it. And I was not shocked, to be honest. I wasn't shocked to hear some of the things that she said. And I even made a comment on her channel because I don't do that a whole lot either. Commenting on other people's commentary but I just really felt where she was coming from and I know that it can be hard as family to put your business out there on front street and then have people to judge it have people just continuously go in on it but you know Tamika she felt like she really had to do this video where she laid out all of the receipts about her sister and her sister's husband. And it's so dirty, guys. And I'll put a link to that video in the description box if you have not seen it yet. I would play some of the audio from it, but I just don't feel like pulling that up and and getting to anything specifically. But I listened to it. I actually listened to it. I was in the waiting room of a doctor's appointment while I was waiting. I was listening to it and I was just like shaking my head like, this is embarrassing. Not for Tamika, but for her sister and her sister's husband. Because we who have been following the situation, we know that Tasha is now, or at least at the time of filming, I haven't heard of her being dropped at this point. She was signed to Motown Gospel Records, and she's supposed to be releasing a gospel album. Now, we know you don't have to be living upright godly and holy and all that stuff to be a gospel artist we know that it doesn't require that but it would make sense to be that way it's like if you're going to sing about it then be about it because i feel that it would be more real and people would relate to it more not saying that you're singing about being perfect but you're singing from a place of i have had some struggles and because my faith And God has helped me to come to a different place in my life. I'm still here. And I'm here to say that you can make it through. You can overcome. If I did it, you can do it too. It's supposed to be like testimonial. I feel gospel music is supposed to help uplift you. I feel like it's supposed to be like a testimony type of I'm living now something different than what I used to. And you may be in a dark place, but you can come out of that. I feel that that's what gospel is really supposed to be. But if people can see that you really are not about much, then what would provoke people to really listen to you and be engaged with that foolishness? I just don't see it. And so Tamika revealed that Tasha's husband, Rocky, had some anonymous text messages sent to herself, to candy i believe and to tiny and just saying a lot of 
horrible things. Now, I did a previous conversation where I discussed the phone call that Tasha's husband had with Tasha K that Tasha K played on her channel. And in that phone call, he was talking about Todd. He called Todd, Todd Dina. And he told Tasha in that phone call that, you know, you really haven't heard the news yet. You haven't heard about how Tamika sent me naked pictures. Todd was doing something to a transgender woman and and said something else, I believe, about about Tiny. And to hear this man say those things on that call when I listened to that then, which was this past weekend, and then on yesterday listening to Tamika reveal how dirty Tasha's husband is and by proxy how dirty she is because she knows about this and she is putting up with it and she's not putting a stop to it and in my opinion involved in it because she showed screenshots of the checks at least a check that Tamika says her sister forged because she said that's not my signature so did Rocky sign a check or did Tasha sign a check Allegedly, she's saying that her sister did. I wasn't there, so I'm not saying it actually 100% happened that way. But it's sounding like, allegedly, that's what happened. But ultimately, Tamika did not get her royalties that she was supposed to get. That Tiny's mom signed the group up for th- via sound exchange for them to be able to get money for music that they did. And... When I listened to the phone call of Rocky, when I listened to Tasha do her interviews and they have just denied, denied, denied. Tasha's husband has denied that he has been having extramarital affairs. Tasha has uh, denied that her husband has any outside children and also that nothing's going on and also they didn't steal her sister's money. In my opinion, just being beautifully honest, to me, it sounds like Tasha has already sunk in her gospel career at this point. Because with Tamika exposing the things that she has exposed recently, in conjunction with just Tasha showing her own hand, with her portrayal of herself on the show, people can blame editing all they want. They record you as you are. Okay, and Tasha comes across as someone who is extremely pompous, arrogant, prideful, set in her ways, all things that are really ungodly. She comes across as extremely self-righteous, all things that are ungodly. And I'm not even sharing my opinion where that is involved to be someone that you claim has always been in your heart to do gospel music but it's not in your heart to change and to be a better person. We who do believe and, you know, try our best to live as upright as possible, we know that we fall short every day, but we have to own up to it. And that is what helps us to become better human beings. And to me, it just looks like Tasha doesn't, claim to be wrong in any way shape or form for anything and she just sits in her pride because she did a video response to her sister and to candy and to the show and in her video response one of the things that she said was that she was going to wait for her apology and then she played clips of tamika apologizing to candy but see the thing is tamika admitted that she lied when she said these things about Candy that happened years ago, but she also, when she said those things, she said those things years ago. So she said Tasha's trying to hold that over her head. But Tamika said she will never be getting an apology from me. And she's not waiting for an apology from Tasha. She needs to repent. And I said, absolutely. Because the thing about it is, when you're supposed to be living this life of Christ and living for God and whatnot, it's not about being sorry It's about repentance and repentance is a change of heart and a turn towards what is right and what is better. And Tasha's sitting all day in pride and pride is one of the things that comes before a fall. 
And pride is also one of the things that God hates. So to be claiming to be this woman that wants to sing for the Lord and you want to do gospel music, that's always been in your heart to do. The way you're going about it to get there, you're already sinking yourself before you could ever swim. You're using your your sister and the group as you get more limelight to yourself and on yourself so that exposure that you're getting can help to propel you towards getting the solo music deal to do gospel music. Who's really going to buy your music? Who's really going to support you? And so that's why I feel that she's just already sunk in herself before she could even swim just a little bit because of her own actions. The pride has got to go. And unfortunately, I've just seen it too often when people get of a certain age where they are harder to bend. Sometimes the harder you are to bend, you're not going to, you're just going to break. And usually the breaking is not something that you want to happen. It's something that happens and it doesn't feel good. It hurts. So I feel that something more, even though some things have been coming out, which are all allegations at that point, at this point, that most people believe about Tamika and about her husband, it's going to be a much larger breaking that is going to happen. That's just not going to feel good because you cannot be out here proclaiming that you're about to do this solo gospel music deal and get this gospel album out and you've got your husband out here sounding pretty cuckoo having phone conversations with Tasha K talking about this woman that most people believe was having physical connections with Rocky with Tasha's husband over several years, most people believe that, but he's out here not 100% denying it, de- completely, totally denying it, saying, I absolutely categorically deny <laughs> or doing the Bill Clinton, I did not have sexual relations with that woman, unique, <laughs> or whatever her real name is, you know, because he claims he knows her real name. He's acting as if she's a stalker. She lives in a house not far from where they live. Who really is he? that someone would want to stalk him. Let's just be clear about that. I mean, really, why would this woman be stalking him? I'm just saying, I do not believe the words that were coming out of his mouth, but a lot of things have been coming out of his mouth that just makes her, meaning her husband, her, her, meaning her, Tasha, his wife, look even worse in the eyesight of anyone that might like her voice and believes that she can sing, but doesn't feel that she's a good witness to be singing any gospel music. I just don't see people supporting her in that way at all, if even just a little bit, because he's said some really, really inflammatory things insinuating that Candy's husband, Todd, has been messing around with a transgender woman and it's either on photo or video evidence saying that Tasha's sister Tamika sent him nude pictures of herself no, I don't believe that I don't I do not I do not believe that I just believe that this man is out to burn every bridge in Tasha's life and because of the pride that she sits in she cannot see that he is destroying any and almost everything that put, could possibly, if not already, be good in her life for the sake of trying to save face. And the face isn't worth saving. The face needs to be reconstructed. The face needs to be completely redone. It's bad. It looks horrible. It cannot be any nips and tucks done. It really needs to be completely restructured, period. And because of the pride that she is standing in, unfortunately, it's not going to benefit her at all whatsoever. So I don't believe Tamika Scott was lying. I believe the receipts that she revealed. I just am extremely disappointed, not just because of the fact that Tasha 
claims that she wanted to do this gospel album. And most people, when they see people do that, it's supposed to have more of a meaning than someone just wanting to sing some gospel music. Usually, especially when someone has been a, what they call secular music artist for so many years. This to me just looks really, really bad. Really, really bad. And I don't see her career going anywhere fast, especially at this point in her life. I'm not saying it's ever too late for anyone, but I also believe that you are the ultimate factor in it not being too late. So it sh- it's not about the age of someone, but it definitely is about the character of someone. And you have to, when you have these character flaws, do what is necessary in order to have those flaws be corrected and make a change. And like Tamika's sister said, repent. Having a change of heart, turning around for the better. You cannot continue in what you have been living in and think that things are going to change and be better because the definition uh, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. I mean, where are we now in this point in her singing career where now she's at this point getting a solo deal and she's doing it under the gospel realm? And you really think that you can operate the way that you were operating or have been operating and it's going to work out successfully for you? It's not. So, oh my gosh, guys, if you haven't listened to the video, go check it out. Again, I have a link to that in the description box. So please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And hey, I mean, maybe you may feel differently. Maybe you feel that it's never too late for her and she could succeed and do great things in the gospel music industry. And she doesn't need to change herself. Come as you are. I don't know. Everybody has their own thoughts and opinions on it, but I'm just sharing mine. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for subscribing. This is Beth. And I'm just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful. And now I'm going to say bye.